Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. I know the morning doesn't feel good for all of you because Bitcoin went even lower than we expected. We are at 33k now, but you know, um, everything is going to be alright. I'm going to make a beautiful TA video for you guys so that you understand what is happening. So watch the video completely till the end. Um, and hopefully then I can make your day a little bit better. Let's quickly jump into the charts over man. Here. Now, yes, I know, this is a very strange chart. You haven't seen that chart before. Uh, that is because this chart is all the way starting over here in 2012. And I want to show you the movements from 2012, 2017, and the movement from now, so then you understand why everybody expected something that still didn't happen. Now, if you look at the Fibonacci retracement levels, then um, we went all the way up to the 4.236 level in that first bull run, and even higher. The second one, we can take the top over there, we can take the bottom, over there and then you can calculate the retracements levels and then you can see that that we took it all the way to the 4.236 level again before that blow of top and then we had that huge blow of top that was the 2017 bull run now if we do it the same again the top from 2017 which is the one level the bottom over there in 2018 which is the zero level then we should be hitting that red line again the 4.336 level we didn't hit that one and we are pulling back now to that blue level so what we miss on this chart is the hitting of that red line a pullback and then that blow off top this part we don't see it over here yet so <clears throat> the question now is will we ever see another blow off top is the market um, like being stabilized a little bit so that we just see these round tops from now because bitcoin just does what it does and i know that is the biggest question but i can give you the answer nobody fucking knows the only thing you can do is analyze the charts trade the charts and that is why we have the bam bam indicator i will show you in a second why i'm using the bam bam indicator but if you're asking me till what level could we drop then we could drop to 29,883. Uh, uh, dollar per Bitcoin because that is the 1.618 level of that Fibonacci retracement tool in the long term so that is a <coughs> very important level like you can see if you look to the left we found support over there yes it's wicking through we found support over there yes it's wicking through we found support and support and support over there <coughs> so this is now the very important level if we break that level guys 20k is the next level so we cannot break this level because then 20k will be the next level. What is the RSI telling us on the daily chart? That we are freaking low. We haven't been lower than this level pff, to March 2020 and <clears throat> November 2018. These two times we were lower than this level. The rest we found a bounce on that level. Look, this yellow line where we are now at RSI every time we bounce from this level can you see this except two times this one we went lower in november <clears throat> 2018 here we wicked through it in march 2020 so when the rsi turns around the price will turn around as well so it's you know it's a very close level where we are at the moment sorry now you can see it better over there we are there and there went we go okay <clears throat> now let's quickly jump into um, the next chart which will be here the four hour chart <clears throat> you can see that there was a long flag but there was still a lot of blue in the bottom and that is why we have the triple confirmation long there was a closing above the yellow stepping line that's like two confirmations but there was green and blue and the red line was really obvious so no not a long for me Okay, now in the weekly, very important, I'm also looking at the Bam Bam indicator. I sold a few Bitcoins. I didn't sell the short flag because I was 
even not believing my indicator myself, but I saw it when I became around uh, 54, around this red line over there, when this <coughs> red candle crossed that line. That's when I sold a few Bitcoins. Now, these Bitcoins I will buy back when I see a long flag. This is the long flag over there. I am we waiting for the long flag on the weekly. Till that I see that long flag, I'm not buying these Bitcoins back that I sold on this chart, this time frame, the weekly time frame. So that is what I'm waiting for at the moment on the weekly. We are still making a higher low, but it's getting very close to not being making a higher low anymore. You know, when we go below this level, uh, the 31K, then it will become a lower low. And that will be reached when we reach the 29K that we saw on the other chart. Are we going to fall down to the 20K on the weekly? You can see that there's the 200 uh, moving average. This one is on the weekly around 20K. So yes, the Fibonacci levels I just showed you are in line with the 200 weekly moving average as well. So if we break that 30K level, this red line will be the next level of support. <clears throat> like it has been many, many times before on the weekly. Over here, that huge, uh, I think it was a COVID drip, uh, dip, we found support around that line. Over here, we found support around that line. That's 2019. That 200 moving average is a very important line. Here, by the bottom, we found support. So yes, 20K is definitely something that could be possible. I am still not buying it. I'm still not believing it. That's how I need to say it because I'm buying Bitcoin. Um, but it is a possibility on the charts. Very clear. Now the monthly guys. Oh, Didi, you're fucking bearish. Yes, the, bu the bullish part comes at the end this time because I want you to watch the whole video. We are forming an M on the monthly, like a real M, like M from McDonald's that we will work at all at McDonald's again. But an M is not like a very positive pattern. That M, if we break that neckline of the M, yes, again, 20K is in play. To be very honest, if we look back to the logarithmic growth growth curve, uh, my best English possible, uh, during a cup of coffee and instead of tea, hmm, um, if we break that logarithmic growth curve, that would be the first time in a decade. We have always held that bottom red line. Do you see? And here we broke it with a wick, but we found like it bounced back really hard and we came back. So we found that red line as a bottom many times before. And that red line at the moment is around, uh, I need to check, uh, 28. This month, if we drop through the green line, then 28 would be the bottom. Uh, if it would a month, we be a month later, it's 30k. If we work through it like we did over here in March 2020, then we could even go lower. The March 2020 drop was here, 50% down below that line. So if we would get a drop 50% below, below that line, that would bring us all the way to 14K. Okay, now it's getting uh, really terrible. <laughs> so I'm not seeing this, guys. I don't believe this is going to happen, but um, you know, we can only look at the charts and um, trade what we see or what the indicators tell us if you want to have the bim bam indicator go to the bitcoinfamily.com and you will find all the information about our indicators now at the moment guys we have 60.2k subscribers my subscribers are higher than the bitcoin price <laughs> and yesterday's videos goodbye that one had 21k views that's for a reason because there is very good information in that one, I would watch that video again. Goodbye, Bitcoin is showing me these things. Watch it, it will help you. It doesn't have 21K views for nothing. And if you want to um, support us by signing up to these exchanges using our referral links, down below the videos, down below the videos, there is always links. Uh, Bybit is giving you a 3,500 US dollar bonus, a deposit bonus, which is a huge bonus. Femex is giving, giving a big bonus. I think Prime Equity at the moment up to 7,000 US dollar bonus. So also in these times, when you're stacking sets, when you're buying Bitcoin, use these links. Use these links, please. Now, um, let's quickly jump into the second part of the video that are these charts. Oh my God, Didi, you're, this is the first 
picture I want to show um, and share with you. It was created by, that's a good question, I found it on Twitter somewhere. Ah, in the top here you can see Bikini Panda Rosa or something like that. He created this one and they are measuring all the signals in Bitcoin. So I would follow that Twitter account. No, I'm not paid to be shilling them, but I just found it. And they are stating if it is green, it's oversold. It's yellow, it's smooth sailing range. If it's red, it's overbought. Um, so that's the sell zone and the buy zone. The green one is the buy zone. Now, if you look to the on-chain metrics, almost all of the metrics, all of the metrics, and also the technical metrics, and also the social signals, all of them are telling you to buy. All of these signals are telling you to buy. A few say are saying smooth sailing range. That's the yellow ones over here. But most of them are telling you here, this one is smooth sailing, smooth sailing. But the rest is green. That's buying signals. That's very positive. So all the on-chain metrics that I've been talking about many times, if you zoom in, you can see um, the metrics they calculate. All the metrics are on here. So you can see that they are all shouting to you you should be buying. The BTC floor price predictions and average is here on the bottom and you can see what the floor price predictions are. So they are averaging between 20k and uh, I can even see 18k here on the bottom. So pause the video and take a look at all these numbers. Um, thank you to Bikini Pondarosa for creating this uh, beautiful uh, overview on how Bitcoin is doing. Now, the bullish part should be this one over here, for example. Um, I saw a guy tweeting this one. Um, his name is not on here, so sorry for that. But he was tweeting, I cannot become bearish. This is a bull run where we have a run, where we have distribution, where we have some accumulation, and where we have that new blow off top. Um, and he's like, if you look uh, down to the MACD, to the volume, to all the other indicators, look how beautiful we have red, and then follow up by this green, and some red, which again will be followed up by this green. So yes, he's saying, buy the dip. Um, really cool. Again, if we break that 30k bottom, then I don't believe in this scenario. If we bounce from the 30k bottom again, I still believe in that 100k scenario this year. Yes. Now, and everything that you are feeling at the moment, like everything that you're feeling, has to do um, with this. This is the emotions that you feel in Bitcoin. And these emotions that you feel in Bitcoin, they change all the way from hope, to disbelief, to optimism, to belief, to thrill, to euphoria, the complacency, to anxiety, denial, panic, anger, depression, and then it will start all over again with hope. Where we are at this one, that is very difficult to say. And the average feeling that I see that people have is that they feel, for example, where am I? I hope we go up, but I'm not optimistic about that, so that I can't believe that we ever see a thrill or a furrier face, or I'm past that stage and just anxious and denial that we are fall further and that I need to panic. I am getting angry of this depressive feeling. I combined all these words and I think that's uh, an average how people are feeling. So for me, it is depending on the 30k bounce. If we bounce of 30k, to be very clear, if we bounce off that 30k, then I believe that we still need to have this whole relief, thrill, and euphoria phase. These three. If we bounce off that 30k. If we don't bounce off that 30k, then we are in this denial phase. Denying the bear market. Then we are going to fall back to the 20k level, which will make you very, very panicking, angry, and even depressed. But, to be very clear, bam, in the very, very, very long term, every little thing is going to be all right. You do invest in Bitcoin for the very long term. Yes, you want to make some profits here and there, but I will be buying, earning Bitcoins all the way to 2024. That will be the new halving moment. And that new halving moment gives me an indication that we will be much higher than the previous halving moment. And I think that the new halving moment could be around that 100k level even, which means that we would need to stack more sets continuously. I hope this video was a little bit clearer. 
And I know it was a lot, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think? In which phase are we? How do you feel? What are you doing? Are you buying? Are you selling? Um, again, if you want the Bam Bam indicator and all that stuff that's telling you on the weekly, monthly, and all these frames, time frames, uh, what you could do, buy and sell, uh, then go to the BitcoinFamily.com. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!